at a Voto gallery, we're often asked for advice on how to install artwork. And so we thought we would create this short production to assist you in hanging your work at home. There are um, a couple of guidelines we'd like to start with. One is that you should not hang your artwork too high. Many people do this. It's a good idea to take into account the function of the room that you're hanging your work in. For example, if you're hanging in a living room or a dining room where you're going to be seated most of the time, then keep the artwork a bit low. You don't want to have to be looking up at the images. If you're hanging in a hallway, on the other hand, you might want to hang the center of the artwork at eye level so that you see it as you're walking by. You may also want to take into account your, your family. If you all tend to be tall, then obviously you can hang your work a bit higher. If you're short, or if, for example, there's someone in the home who uses a wheelchair, then you may want to keep your artwork lower so that people can enjoy it more. Uh, the other important thing in hanging artwork is always, always, always use two hooks. The reason for that is that uh, two hooks will spread the weight of the wire which supports the artwork more evenly, and they will help prevent the artwork from swinging. Artwork that's hung on one hook puts a lot of stress on that one hook, and if it gives way, there's nothing else to support the work and the artwork falls. But with two hooks, if, heaven forbid, one gives way, at least you have another one that should catch the work. So always use two hooks. Much better idea than hanging on one. So before you begin installing, you're going to need several basic tools. You'll need a pencil, obviously, to mark your height. You'll need a tape measure to measure the distance that you want the artwork to hang at. Um, a level is a really good idea, especially for one of the installations we'll show you today. It's uh, very critical. Um, and you need some good quality hooks. Um, you're hanging original artwork, so don't skimp on the quality of the hooks. Um, use a, a, a good kind that will support it. And these are usually weighted for a particular weight. Um, in this case, these are 30 pound hooks, so two of those are easily going to support most average works of art. You'll also, of course, need a hammer to put your nails into the wall. So the first piece we're going to start with today is a charcoal drawing by Alexander Vlasenko titled Walking Woman. Uh, this is a drawing, so it's work on paper framed behind glass in a frame that most of us would be accustomed to with a wire on the back. So the first thing we want to do is establish the height of the work. So I'm going to do this by just holding this up at a height that's comfortable for me, where I'm looking right at the image. And I'm going to put a little mark on the wall, approximately in the middle of the artwork, at the height that I want. Now on the back of the artwork, we're going to measure where our two hooks are going to be. And we're going to take it at, let's say, 12 inches apart. So taking that measurement, hold the wire at approximately where the hook will be in the distance from the top, and then we're going to measure that distance. And you can see we're approximately 5 inches. That's where our hook is going to be on the wall, 5 inches down from our height and 12 inches apart. mess this up. I'm going to have to put glasses on. That's our height. We want our hook at 5 inches down. And we want our hooks to be 12 inches apart. So we're going to measure 6 inches from each side of the center. So we're at here and here. Now if you want to get this really accurate, it's a good idea to put a level on it. And just mark the level on each side. When you're hanging off a wire, you don't have to be absolutely precise because the wire, of course, has a little bit of give and take in it and it will accommodate a couple of errors. So we'll just put our hooks in and this line is actually where the bottom of your hook is going to go. We're on the wire and our distance apart, which was 12 inches. So to hang the artwork, support it by the bottom, hang it on the far hook first, then slide it over to you and hang it on the other one. You can feel it with your hand so you don't have to 
guess by trying to hook it over the work. And let's check. We'll just level it. And we're done. Now, if this was a larger work of art and you needed two people, then put one person at each side. Support the work at the bottom, put your hand behind and feel for the putting the wire over the hook. It's easiest probably to shift it from one side to the other so you don't have to reach too far behind. Have the other person um, slide it back over and then you hook it on the hook on your side. The next work we're going to demonstrate is um, a painting by Jennifer Walton. This is called Frozen Lake 2. And this is uh, a painting done on canvas and stretched over a frame. Now, you can see that this actually does have a wire on it, but we're going to show you how to hang it um, from two nails on the wall. And the advantage to doing that is that it holds the painting very flat against the wall, whereas with the wire, um, you often have to put uh, bumpers at the bottom of the painting to keep it flat. So if you hang from two nails, it will sit very flat and flat-like against the wall. So again, we're going to determine our height. this one about here so we're looking at the figure and we'll mark that. Now the two nails I would put about a third of the way across um, on the painting. It's not terribly critical you want to um, avoid the brace obviously but you can slide the painting back and forth a little so you don't have to be quite so precise. So let's just check our distance so that we don't run into the braces. So we're about 11 inches apart. And the height we determine by measuring the stretcher. The stretcher is this wood that the painting is wrapped around. So we want the depth of the stretcher, and that's how far down our nails will be from the height. Now in this case, we're about three quarters of an inch. So we'll mark that down from our height, which was here, and then we're going to put our nails about 10 inches apart. So I'm using a fairly long nail on these, and the important thing, of course, is to make sure that it doesn't stick into the painting, so you want to put it into the wall far enough that it won't. Then you just simply rest the stretcher on top of the nail and check your level. There we go. This is a painting by Ron Eady called The Water Lot 2. And this painting is done on a wooden panel and has a fairly substantial frame on it. So it's heavier than the ones we've already uh, installed. So in this case, heavier paintings are often not wired. They're installed right from what we call D-rings. Uh, the D-rings provide a little more support and more stability for a larger, heavier painting. So these are a little bit trickier to install because you have to get it a little more accurate on the wall. The wire allows you to be a bit more flexible, but with D-rings, you have to be very accurate in your measurements. So we'll start by determining our height. So again, to support the painting, we'll do our height about here. And then what you'll need to do is measure from the top of the D-ring to the top of the frame. The top of the frame being the height on the wall. So we're about six and a half inches. And we always hope that it's the same on both sides, because that makes life easier. And yeah, very close. The other measurement you're going to need is the distance between the two rings. So you take the distance between the middle of the rings, which in this case is 23 and a half inches. So what's that, what that's giving you is the distance from the height 
to where your hook will be and the distance apart that the hooks need to be. In this case, you really should use a level because you need to get this quite accurate. So we determined that our height was here. We're going to come down six and a half inches. And then the distance between our hooks was 23 and a half. So we divide that in two, we get 11 and three quarters. And that's the distance from the middle on each side that our hooks need to be. So we're 11 and three quarters on this side. And 11 and three quarters on this side. And that gives us 23 and a half, which is our distance between the D-rings. And to get the proper height, we're going to put a level where our middle line was. And just put a little mark at the 11 and 3 quarters mark. We'll shift this over. Make sure it's level and a mark over here so that the bottom of our hooks are going to be level. Now on this one I'm going to use a slightly larger hook because it supports the weight better. Again, the bottom of the hook goes on the mark that you've made. today has been all on drywall, which is the easiest material to install um, or to install or work on. Uh, if you have an older home with plaster, what you may want to do is to put tape over the area where you're driving the, the nails um, to keep the plaster together. Um, if you have concrete or brick, then that's a whole different issue and you may need to have someone come and professionally install. You usually need to drill into those kinds of materials. Um, and we would invite you to share any comments or any methods that you've found helpful for installing your artwork um, at any time. You can contact us and share your, your comments. Thank you.